Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shoppers Show, a show where we take a tour around South Africa and show you some of their most exclusive and in-demand homes. We have come full circle and we find ourselves standing in a driveway of this five bedroom, six bathroom, 18 million 470,000 rand home right here in Stain City. Now we've toured houses in Stain City and once again, the one sitting behind me is nothing short of spectacular. So join me because I'm about to head inside this home and I'm gonna show you why you should be its next owner. My name is Chad, this is the Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. Special houses deserve special entry halls and from just how the doorway looks you can see just how unique this home is. I love the entry hall, you've got all this light pouring in from your courtyard outside and beautiful mosaic tiles in the courtyard, we'll talk about that in a moment. And then this double volume ceiling looking up onto the second story or should I say the first floor because there is a second floor above that. Then walking a little bit further forward you can see these tiles drop off onto beautiful golden oak floors. I love how warm this house is. And when we talk about warmth, a lot of time we talk about color, but we've got so much light streaming into this home. The owners told me that each room in this home receives a lot of sunlight throughout the day, and it's always warm in winter, but still cool in summer, and I love that. But we are here in basically the central living area of the home. Again, right over there is the first story, wrought iron grates looking up onto it. But let's talk about what we find here. So right here, you've got your sitting area, your informal sitting area, nice and cozy. And again, that warmth is continued by how the oak floors translate into these vertical slats. Also again, giving you that golden hue and right there in the center is an imported French fireplace. It goes straight on through to the other side of this wall. I'm gonna show you what's over there. That's the fully enclosed TV room. But beautiful for the winter time, sitting here enjoying a hot cup of coffee or even cocoa, talking with friends, family. You can see the bar off to the left there, having a nice drink. I absolutely love it. In the center here, this is your dining room table. Plenty of space here for a dining room table of whatever width you want. So no matter how many people you want to entertain, you know that you've got the space here to cover it. And framing that from a lighting point of view is this really unique chandelier giving you your down lighting, but also being a piece to attract the eye. Then you've got these stackable doors. You can see three on this side, three on that side. They are tinted and they stack, making this truly indoor outdoor living, but also blocking off some of that harsh UV rays. If we walk on outside, we come to your garden area, which is on its own absolutely spectacular. And let's talk about that before we go into the kitchen and then talk about that courtyard. If we go all the way to the far side of this patio area, you see that there's a sitting area right there. It's a hanging chair. But what is very cool and something we don't see all too often is you've got an inbuilt outdoor fan. Now the owner again tells me that it really does assist with mosquitoes, but on those hot, sweltering summer days, you've got a beautiful breeze, stunning green lawn, and then we've got this white gravel path just going around the home. Again, emphasizing the beautiful plant life in this home. Now, all the plant life is also indigenous. So you know that it's very, very light on water. But what uh, 
Other light could be shed in this home is from the sunken fire pit. Again, winter times, you know this invokes a feeling of ro roasting marshmallows with your friends and family. I love that they've got this and I love that it's right next to the pool over here. Let me jump on up. Now let's talk about this pool located right next to the fire pit and drawing your eyes from the inside of the home. Salt water pool fully covered and I believe it also is very, very warm and sitting in this pool Oh, you have got an incredible view of Stain City and some of the other houses peeking out from the trees. Even in the winter time, the views from this home are absolutely incredible. Now, talking about space right here, if you're an entertainer and maybe you're looking for a new home, this is something that would sell it for you. We've got plenty of space out here for massive tables. So if you are entertaining guests, they've got you covered. Got a fireplace right over here place for a bry over there and then a full-on prep table as well as prep sink all out here for your use if you do require it but then you can head inside to the kitchen close off this glass sliding door and again you're fully enclosed but beautiful beautiful wall-to-wall -wall glass letting you really enjoy what it's like living in Stain City as I took a look out there I see people strolling with their kid this is a lifestyle center. Stain City has got so many amenities. I mean, it's even got a helicopter pad. You've got clubhouses, you've got golf courses, you've got hiking trails, golfing, well, a full on golf course. You've got walking trails, biking trails. You've got a beautiful dam. And I believe you've even got like a little water park. I'm gonna have to take a look at it. But this is a place where you bring your family and you live out your 20 years in peace. But where I find my piece, is in the kitchen and let's talk about this one stunning stunning oak shelving you can see the little oak bits all throughout the um, cupboards and drawers right over here little cut opens for you to pull them out i like that we've got that farmer style sink right over here and again the nozzle does come out if you are doing some quick washing up if you're doing more intensive washing up right over there in the scullery we've got a double sink and the scullery also does have space for all of your under counter storage and then we come to this center island got some accent lights off to the left but what's so cool about the center island is not only the stunning oh, I'd say plain white top that really does make it feel clean and crisp but you've got your oven right over here imported Italian oven five top gas burn although this middle one is rather large and it is facing the rest of your home so if you are a chef if you enjoy cooking you can whip open this entertain while you're cooking entertain while you're baking and while you're doing stuff in the kitchen it's never a case where you've got the back to your guests so that is a super super cool feature i love that they thought about this if we talk about the rest of the kitchen as you can see plenty of space for storage and there is one other cool thing here that i wanted to mention that is right over here you've got some plugs built in so if you are doing stuff here and you've got some other appliances you can do that wine fridge double door fridge microwave right over there smeg and then this is a scullery i'm talking about farmhouse pocket door separating this from the rest of the home really sturdy solid doors again a continuation of that crisp white countertop and as i did say under counter storage double sink more above counter storage some drawers over here all of this over here if you're doing laundry if you've got space for your dry if you need space for your dry goods it's over here and behind this door this is your three car garage so opening it up you're walking straight into your house Heading through the door on my right, you're heading out to the back of the home. Right over there, you've got an outdoor sink as well for any of the prep work. If you are using those running trails, right over there, you can wash up your boots or your bike. You also have space there for a living domestic worker if you need that. You've got bedroom, bathroom, as well as a lounge, nice and comfortable and right on and next to your home. But before we go any further, we've got to talk about this courtyard. Again, we've got these sliding stackable glass doors coming out onto your very own enclosed courtyard and you know it's a courtyard because take a look at the stunning mosaic tiles down below you've got a fountain over here with some fish inside with some beautiful greenery and you've got a lot of light here this is such a nice place to come out sit down enjoy a cup of tea read the morning newspaper the business times whatever it is that you'd like to read and just enjoy i love the creepers on the wall there and all the other plant life such a cool feature and very very rarely do we see one in homes like this but coming back in, let's walk this way and let's take a look at that enclosed TV room. Now pushing open this door, you can see it forms a perfect camouflage with the rest of the vertical slats of this home. Really, really cool door. And here it is, 
your fully enclosed, almost hidden, almost secret TV room. You've got access to that fireplace, which must make this room so cozy, beautiful, down lighting, TV over there, L-shaped couch over here, reading nook as well as storage space right over here with these windows that open outwards, letting in some fresh air when you need it. But if you need fresh air, and you're not getting enough from your reading nook. Again, we've got these sliding stackable glass doors right here that you can open up and enjoy the outside, maybe even watch some TV from out there. Love this room, it must be so cozy in the winter. And again, in summer, you know that you don't need to worry about it getting too hot, but that does sum up the downstairs area. But come on, let me show you how nicely this door blends with the rest of the wall. Take a look at that. You wouldn't even know there's a room there. I love that that's a feature. And again, how nicely it blends in with the rest of the room. But that does sum up the downstairs areas, guys. Now we get to take a look at the downstairs bedroom, the downstairs bathroom, and then we're heading up not one, but two stories to see what the rest of this house has to offer. Walking towards your front door, you'll immediately see the guest bathroom is located within easy access. You've got your single vanity as well as toilet, plenty of space, beautifully situated guest bathroom. And then coming through this door, this would be the guest wing of the house, I'd have to say. So we can close that up and situate this. This is a bedroom that has its very own ensuite bathroom. Let's talk about the bathroom because I love, I love what it brings. Now your bathroom is beautifully clad with teal tiles on the one wall. You've got your floating toilet situated right next to a window that opens outwards. Obviously all the windows are frosted for privacy. Then a stunning walk-in shower dominates the rest of the bathroom. You've got white subway tiles enclosed in there with your rainfall shower head. The floor itself is poured concrete and then your single vanity is again floating with those oak insets and that stunning clear white countertop. It really is a bathroom that you'd be happy to find yourself in. Then coming out of the bathroom again, the oak continues with this bedroom, which is so very, very warm. Plenty of space here, as you can see, this bed fits in comfortably. You've got some cupboards on the left-hand side, space for your two pedestal tables. And then in this corner right over here, you've got not only window space, but again, access to the outside. Right over here, you can see the sliding door brings you out to the front of the house. And again, you're surrounded by beautiful indigenous trees. Mm, it smells so fresh out here. I love that they've included that, opening that up. And then if you open this up, you're walking straight back into your garden. Now, coming up this room, we come to a stunning set of stairs. Now, all of this is inlaid with oak and you've got this black wrought iron metal that really does mesh with the design language of the rest of the apartment so well. But something I need to talk about is, it's actually three stories. So you see these two sets of stairs and another two sets above you. And it is a very, very nice feature to have in a home. I think you've got to be here to really experience it because you've also got glass coming in from the floor all the way up two stories. And underneath here is your very own hidden away reading nook where you can sit down with a good book on a comfortable chair. And you've got this stunning, and my photographer is gonna show it right now. You've got this stunning rock garden sitting just outside here. Sitting there, good book, good cup of coffee, really is quite a nice feature. You've got these hanging lights on both sides of the wall as you make yourself up to the first story in this stunning home right here in Stain City. Oak continues, we've got a bedroom right here on the right hand side, the master suite over there, another bedroom over there. We're gonna go explore all of them. But over here, this is a storage cupboard just to get that out the way. Now let's talk about the bedrooms. Now walking into your first bedroom on the right hand side, you'll again see plenty of space with the windows dominating the corner, just like your downstairs guest wing. This time though, you do have inbuilt cupboards. And again, you've got within those inbuilt cupboards, another taste of the beautiful wood that is oak. Then when we talk about the ensuite bathroom, every single bedroom in this house does come with an ensuite bathroom. You've got your walk-in shower, You've also got those beautiful subway tiles within the walk-in shower, your floating toilet, your single vanity with its own freestanding bowl. And then this time again, which is somewhat different, is you do have a bathtub. Now, moving on to the second bedroom, we're gonna come across here. We're gonna leave that master suite for last like we used to. We get to take a look at this stunning, stunning walkway looking down onto your dining room table, really appreciating those chandeliers. We'll take a break to the left for the second bedroom. This bedroom this time comes with its very own balcony, stackable sliding glass doors go out onto your own balcony overlooking 
some of the most exquisite views Sane City has to offer. You can see the golf course, you can see some of the other houses, and you can really see all the way into Danefern. I love the view. Again, this room is spacious with built-in cupboards, as well as having a study nook or inbuilt desk nook. Right now, it's housing a TV and a very snazzy PlayStation 5. This bedroom, as I did mention, comes with its own ensuite bathroom. You've got your walk-in shower. This bathroom is a little bit dark, a little bit more serious. The gray walls with that wallpaper is absolutely stunning your single vanity with oak onset and then that rainfall shower head now coming into the next bedroom this one a lot larger almost an inbuilt bachelor pad space here for your bedroom you can see the shelving behind me windows here letting in a lot of natural light beautiful down lighting above us some more windows here letting in another angle of light and space here for a small this little uh, sitting room, maybe a nice TV room, throw a TV on one of these walls. Really, really nice because I also like that they've got this slatted window right at the top bringing in some more natural light. Then a cool feature and something for maybe some people who would like to try out renovation. So I really like that this is included here, specifically with the door. But that is not all when it comes to this home because just off in front, you've got your very own ensuite bathroom. This time with a double vanity, dark freestanding bowls. You've got dual mirrors and again, that window that is frosted for privacy. Your vanity is freestanding as well as your toilet. And then you've got your walk-in shower, which again has got those stunning black accents with the teal tiles running around the one foot wall. Now leaving that bedroom behind and again taking a walk across this beautiful walkway, these floor to ceiling windows. On my right hand side you find your study and then just in front of me is the master bedroom. Let's start off with the study and finish off with the master bedroom. Walking into your study you can see that it also does have its very own private balcony with sliding doors. Then you'll also see it is spacious enough to fit almost any desk you want. Right now you can see the shelving as well as single desk there. Stunning down lighting and dark walls really do lend a tone of seriousness to this room. And again, the oak flooring does give it the warmth it needs. Right over here you've got your walk-in closet and you can see again it is lined with oak as well as the oak flooring. Beautiful dark metal accents throughout this walk-in closet that I really do like. And plenty, plenty space for you to show off all of your designer clothes. Now, walking off to the bathroom that adjoins this walk-in closet, the first thing I need to mention is how stunning this barn-style door is right over here with those oak inlays. But this bathroom in and of itself is absolutely incredible. Right over here, we've got your double sinks, so those double vanities with their very own separate mirrors. And then we've got lights above each of those mirrors. You've got your floating single vanity over here. Beautiful walk-in shower with some light, but these subway towels, both in teal and white, I really like. They've put plants in the shower right now that I think is actually an incredible touch. Your toilet off to the right, then you've got some space there to hang your hooks. But I think the number one feature, without a doubt, is this bathtub right now. Freestanding bathtub with a chrome faucet that comes right out of the floor, dipping straight into the bath. And you're bathing literally in front of floor to ceiling windows, incredible chandelier in front of you, and a view of this lake peeking out through the trees. It makes you feel like you're on an estate somewhere in England, and you're very, very wealthy, and you're very important, and you just deserve some downtime. And that is exactly what you do deserve. But let me stop talking about this bathroom, let's take a look at the master bedroom. And then there is one last killer feature in this home that I wanna show you, and that's gonna be done straight after the master bedroom. Now walking into the rest of this master suite, you can see it is standard fare when it comes to exquisite homes. Lots of space and a lot of light from windows based both on my left as well as on my right hand side. This king size extra length fits in very, very easily. But talking about light, space, and specifically glass, I need to mention these windows right over here. Floor to ceiling really doesn't cover it. There are two gigantic pieces of glass. Looking out to your very own private balcony like a master suite should have, as well as this art piece that lets you look down onto your rock garden and some of the pieces of um, the greenery and indigenous plants that come out there. I love this bedroom. I love what they've done with the design choices. And I really do enjoy how nearly every single room in this home has its own balcony. Now, on the note of balconies, there is one last one that is on the roof. As I mentioned, three stories, that third story being the roof. Let's take a look at it because the views there are 
incredible. And here we are, you have your very own rooftop balcony terrace. You've got an incredible view from this balcony of almost every aspect of Stain City. And that's a stunning little dam over there. But there's a couple of killer features that I'd like to talk about while we're on the roof. One, you've got your very own prep sink, as well as prep table. So if you want to bring up an umbrella, bring up some food, bring up some chairs, you can entertain company over here. But there are a couple of other features that I'd like to talk about. One, you can see this flue right over here. This is the flue for the fireplace downstairs. Obviously, this gets quite hot. So you've got a bit of a heater here. That heat, however, also does warm up the bedroom and study because the flue runs up through the wall. So you know when you have a fireplace downstairs, your master bedroom is also going to get nice and toasty. Then if you take a look just behind your inbuilt seating, you'll see a row of not only solar panels, but solar geysers. So you know that not only are you going to have hot water, but also electricity. And so much so that the owner of this home has told me that they are almost completely off grid. You can run an oven, an uh, a kettle as well as your light. You know that for those two hours, you're going to have nothing but comfort, which is all what this house is about. But that does bring us to the end of the show. But unfortunately, that does conclude this incredible tour of this five bedroom, six bathroom, 18 million, 470,000 rand home right here in the heart of Stain City. And if you can find yourself living in this home right here in Stain City, what I'd like you to do is contact the two agents from Remax Infoglobe who are showcasing this house that is Joelle and Marusha and schedule a viewing right now. But for myself, Chad Rivera, I'd like to thank you and each and every one of the people that help put these shows together. Thank you for tuning in every Monday and Friday. And we'll see you again next time in another one of these incredible homes. Thank you. Bye.